Ice Cold Water by Dan Cook Oh my, a large soda pop is only a quarter, the old woman announced to the other members of her party settling in at a table halfway across the restaurant. Dowdy Lacroix pushed back his paper hat and shook his head in frustration. The sign on the wall clearly read, Ice Cold Water, any size 25 cents. But Dowdy said nothing. People usually figured out the sign for themselves before ordering. Her companion, a slightly younger old woman, stepped in and said, No, Estelle, that's for water. See over there? A large pop is $1.89. Dowdy wiped the sweat from his fat forehead and tapped his pencil on the counter impatiently. If he'd known his parents would cut off his allowance, he never would have taken the semester off from college. But he hadn't known it, so for the time being, he was stuck working at the chow hound. Grandpa, would you like a root beer? It's only a quarter, Estelle hollered across the dining area. Huh? What say? Grandpa asked. That's for water, the younger old woman interrupted. A 25 cent root beer. You want one or not? Estelle shouted. Grandpa looked confused for a moment and then answered. I used to drive, but now my eyes are shot. Can't see worth a darn anymore. Dowdy reached down into the ice cream toppings, popped a handful of Oreo crumbs into his mouth, and tried in vain to straighten his greasy apron over his enormous belly. He'd just begun eyeing the brownie bits when Estelle stepped forward to place her order. We'll have six burgers, she began. Would you like cheese on those, Dowdy asked. Does it cost extra? Estelle inquired suspiciously. Thirty-five cents. Well, that's highway robbery, but I guess we don't have any choice now, do we? I guess not, Dowdy replied. Would you like anything to drink with those burgers? Yes, Estelle said through tight lips, her eyes cold and menacing. We'd like six of your large, 25-cent root beers. The younger old woman protested. Now, Estelle, you know darn good and well those pops aren't a quarter. I know no such thing, Estelle snapped. It says 25 cents. I can read it plain as day. Dowdy interrupted. Well, actually, your friend is right. You see where it says ice cold water right above the picture? Yes, I see it all right, Estelle responded as if she'd been waiting to make her move. I see it written right above that picture of a soda pop. As far as I'm concerned, that's false advertising. So we'll just take our 25 cent pops. Thank you very much. Sorry, lady, but that's not the way it works, Dowdy explained, trying his best to be diplomatic. You see, we only have soda cups here. If you order a water, we have to put it in a soda cup. And we have to charge a quarter to cover the cost of the cup. Understand? I understand that you're a fresh young man, Estelle said and I don't care for the way you do business. By that point, Dowdy's patience had worn thin. No longer concerned with being polite, he said, Listen, lady, I didn't make up the menu. I just work here. If you don't want to pay our prices, you'll have to go and eat somewhere else. Got it? Estelle glared at Dowdy. Through gritted teeth, she said, We'll have five large root beers and one water. Dowdy wasted no time in preparing their order. He figured the sooner those people were out of there, the better off he'd be. Surprisingly, the burgers were eaten without incident. As the family got up to leave, the younger old woman came by to apologize for Estelle's behavior. Dowdy told her not to worry about it and thanked her for their patronage. Minutes later, as he shoved a pretzel into his mouth, the door opened and two different old women walked in. He thought to himself how friendly they looked when one of them said, Look, Phyllis, a large soda pop is only a quarter. Dowdy's face grew hot and the top of his skull began to throb. Quick as a flash, he jumped up, pulled the ice-cold water sign off the wall and tossed it into the trash can. The sweet old woman froze in place, unsure of what to do next. Without missing a beat, Dowdy said, Sorry, ladies, that sign was a misprint. Our real soda prices are up there on the menu. The old women looked at one another, too confused to say anything. Dowdy continued, To make up for any inconvenience to you, your soda pops will be on the house today. The old lady smiled warmly and took turns telling Dowdy what a fine young man he was. He just smiled back and thought to himself that the food service business isn't so tough, once you get the hang of it.